Yeah, hi, Markku. Uh, CEO and co-founder of Fordic. Uh, Fordic is a smart heating company. So what we are doing simply is like we are making better heating for people who are inside the buildings, save some energy, and we also managing the peaks of the energy consumption. I'm a very happy man. Now you're seeing one. Because during this year we have started to do profitable sales and some of our customers are buying again. As a startup, that is a fantastic situation. So why to bother? What's trouble with the heating? So uh, this is my hometown Helsinki, so about one and a half million people living in the region. This could be Hamburg, this could be Warsaw. Where is all the CO2 coming from? It's coming from the heating of our buildings. In Helsinki it's 56-54%. Uh, if we cut 20% out of that, it means that we are cutting half of the traffic emission. Remember the 20%. I, you need to do it later. How to fix that? We need to go to the buildings, like uh, like uh, the Berlin uh, lady, or German lady said that uh, we need to look at the existing buildings. What to do with those? And we have done that. The building owners, how they are thinking, is uh, actually not that much about the emission, but the tenant satisfaction. Will they have customers? They ha uh, think about the energy and maintenance costs, and they think about mainly about the property value. So manage. So these kind of things need to be tackled if they want to do some things in their uh, in their in their building so what is our solution is like providing some management so like we predict when each and every room needs the heating and that's simple like that we have a method patent for validate eu patent for our method so so that is like uh, we are concentrating on the buildings with water radiators and for that we have the patent we also have another patent uh, pending for eu for this demand side management for the district heating Yes, there's a bit of hardware, so what, what we do practically is that we change the uh, traditional downforce or, or some other passive thermostat with an active one. We are not a hardware company. If there's some hardware company here, don't be worried, we could even collaborate. So like we are a software company, we are making these predictable, usable in large, large buildings. Some real life stories then. Why is it so fantastic for the building uh, owners and people living? So this is a kind of a real life building in Helsinki. Uh, uh, and this is a kind of front view, eight stories and, and two corridors. And uh, the co when we started, uh, so it was cold in the corners. Uh, when we did our tricks, it, we could automatically balance, balance the heating. And we could also pinpoint the trouble where the handyman work is needed. So two things happened. Uh, the, the building owner is happy, he knows what the situation, people are happy, plus then they, he saves in the maintenance because you don't need to fix the whole building hardware, just the places where there's some trouble. Another view from the office, uh, so this is an evening view, so like the empty spaces are a bit cooler and then the used spaces are warm. So these kind of things were not possible in th this particular building before. What does it mean in the energy wise? So, so these are real life stuff last winter. So like the lowest saving was 17% and the best one was 33%. Coming back to this 20%, it's totally doable. We are providing comfort for the people. Uh, we are saving costs and it works automatically. People don't need to start like having a hobby of saving energy, but we are saving it for them. If they want to control some, they of course are welcome to do that. The building owner, so he needs to have a business case. So typically it's like less than three years that he gets his money back. So they are really making, using their money to do this. Uh, how we are selling is like uh, we, we earn in the investment phase, we also earn in the subscription phase, and when, then we are collecting lots of digital data. And we, by the way, have some ideas how to use the big data your, your uh, energy companies are collecting. So we can talk about that as well. Uh, we are collaborating, so we started with straight sales to the building owners. Uh, we are collaborating with energy companies, piloting, and we're having a commercial contracts with uh, the energy, uh, sorry, with the property management companies. They are a bit faster because they, they need this change more than the, the uh, energy companies, but the energy companies, you own all the customers, will be happy to, happy to also work else, elsewhere than only in Finland. We are growing, we are doubling sales every half, that is our plan, and we are looking now, now kind of uh, collaborators to that. Uh, sales so far from Finland, we have pilots in Sweden, also in China, we will have in one in, in, uh, starting in, in Germany. 
we are smart, not smart home hardware company and we are not a holistic building automation company. We can use the smart home hardware and uh, we are co then collaborating with the, with the Nukas and Siemens on the, on the, on the uh, smart buildings. Looking for money, that's your question always. Two million, please. Uh, this is uh, for the internationalization. We can do profitable business in Finland, you don't bother, but if we, and when we want to come to the countries, we want to network with the existing players and get some money to do that. To, to kind of uh, finalize, uh, we have proven solution, we are in sales, we have repeating customers who are happy, we are looking for partners, we are not taking it all, we are, everybody else is getting something as well, and we are looking for truly network investors. That's it. Thank you.